Normal Diversity 1 Students, today we will discuss about the pattern of organizations. Pattern of organizations Evolutionary changes do not always mean progress and increased complexity. Evolution frequently results in backtracking, in failed experiments and in inefficient or useless structures. So evolution is basically change with the passage of time and change is not always positive. Sometimes it may be negative so you have to backtrack. In the same way evolutionary changes not always mean progress but sometimes evolutionary changes must be backtracked to compensate these losses. If you consider the carnodons, the carnodons are pantaridial and if you consider the platyhelminthes or arthropods they are bilateral. So in case of arthropods bilateral symmetry, in case of carnodons pantaridial and then again chordates have the bilateral symmetry. It means that pantaridial symmetry was backtracked into bilateral symmetry. The bodies of animals and protists are organized into almost infinitely diverse forms. Within this diversity, how are certain pattern of organizations? Symmetry. Symmetry describes how the part of an animal are arranged around the axis or a point or an axis. If you consider this butterfly, then this butterfly have the two wings equal, equally attached to the body. Animal symmetry that may be asymmetry, bilateral symmetry and tracheal symmetry. Asymmetry that there is no arrangement or mirror images around the central axis then bilateral symmetry the body have two different or two mirror images around an axis two just like your own body radial symmetry the arrangement of body parts such that any plan passing through the oral aboral axis divides the animal into mirror images that may be three that may be four that may be five that may be six, pentaradial, hexaradial, or just radial. Asymmetry, which is absence of central point or axis around the body, and body parts are not equally distributed, protest or sponges. Radial symmetry is the arrangement of body parts such that any plant passing through the central oral aboral axis divides the animal into mirror images like sea urchin. Bilateral symmetry is an arrangement of body parts such that a single plant passing between the upper and lower surfaces through the longitudinal axis of an animal divides the animal into right and left mirror images. Here is the diagram. So none. First of all is a sponge having the no symmetry or asymmetry. Then radial. Radial if you consider this jellyfish then here is the central axis and each part in the body is just mirror image in the central axis point radial symmetry then bilateral symmetry have the two mirror images around the axis left or right just like your body then here are different terms that is anterior posterior proximal ventral dorsal if you consider your body then your face is your anterior part and your tail or back is your posterior. If you uh, consider your belly then that is ventral and your backbone is a dorsal. Then your arm attachment with the shoulder is proximal and your wrist is your distal part. In terms of direction. That is oral, aboral, anterior, posterior, caudal, phallic, distal, proximal, dorsal, ventral, inferior, superior, lateral, medial. Aboral side is side in which your mouth is. Uh, aboral side. Cephalization. Cephalization is the development of head. So 
Cephalization is the area in which your most of the sense organs are present. Other pattern of organization includes the layer organization that is diploblastic animal or unicellular diploblastic acylomate, pseudocellumate or cellumate. Unicellular organisms have the single cell and all body functions are performed within the single cell so they are not the simple locomotion, food, reproduction, water and waste management, excretion, sensory uh, perception, each and everything is performed by the single cell. Here is the diagram, Euglena, Paramecium, Amoeba. So you see the different organelles are present in the single cell and perform very effectively. Diploblastic organisms are two layered organisms that is ectoderm and endoderm. Ectoderm give rise to your outer covering or body wall and endoderm give rise to the gastrodermis or the gut related to feed. Between epidermis and endodermis, ectodermis or epidermis there is a mesoglia. Mesoglia is the thick jelly like material sometimes have the cell and sometimes don't. Here is the diagram. If you consider this blue outer blue cover then that is ectoderm then inner pink is mesoglia and then yellow is endoderm. Here is the jellyfish. Triploblastic organization in which the three layers are present ectoderm, endoderm and the mesoderm. Mesoderm gave rise to supportive structure and blood cells. Diagram C. This green color is mesoderm. You are triploblastic. I am a big fan of mesoderm. Triploblastic animals are organized in several subgroups based on the presence or absence of a body cavity and for those that process that possess one kind of body cavity present. Body cavity provides more space for organ development. So your own body has the space, provides area for diffusion of gases, nutrients, waste, provides storage. So your fat store in the abdominal cavity, hydrostatic skeleton in some organisms and vehicles for eliminating waste and reproductive products from the body and facilitate increased body size. Here is the diagram. Acylomates have the flat worms. Pseudocylomates have the nematodes, strong worms. And cellomates have the annelids, mollusk. Acylomates are those organisms who are typoplastic but there is no body cavity. There is a solid mass of cells between ectoderm and mesoderm, ectoderm and endoderm called acylomates. Here is the diagram. So that is blue color ectoderm, then inner red color mesoderm, and inner yellow color endoderm. Then pseudocellulates have the false body cavity, so that is lined by the mesoderm by one side. No muscular or connective tissues are associated with the gut, and no mesodermal sheet covers the inner surface of body wall, and no membrane suspend organs in the body cavity is like um, so here is pseudocellum and mesoderm is just lying the ectoderm there is no lining of mesoderm in the gut and white is pseudocellum that is body cavity then cellumate patterns the cellum is body cavity completely surrounded by mesoderm and uh, Thin mesodermal sheet, the peritoneum lines the inner body wall and is continuous with the serosa. The peritoneum and the serosa are continuous and suspended structure in the body cavity. Here is a diagram. So there is mesentery. Mesentery includes the suspension materials, then mesoderm around the endoderm and mesoderm around the ectoderm. White color is cellulose. 